Do you have two yards of any fabric that is soft and drapes quite well? Do you want any dress that you can sew in less than 20 minutes? I know you'd love to wear jumpsuit, but you're concerned about the discomfort. Today, let me introduce you to this halter neck palazzo jumpsuit that is easy to sew and easy to wear. If there's something you'd love to learn, do stick around and let's do it together. Before we'll be able to sew this beautiful style, we first would have to get our measurement. In this instance, we are using a full length, which is 57. Our hip, 40 inches. The shoulder to waist is 17. The inseam is 26. And so what you'll be doing is that, since if this is a halter top, we are going to take 7 inches off the full length. And so we'll be left with 50. Let's use this as our starting line and then we continue. We've marked this one inch as our finishing for the neckline. And so we are using this as our starting line instead. Then we mark 50 inches from this part all the way down. Then we add 2 inches as our hem allowance. Then we move upwards by the NC measurement, which is 26. From the starting line, we'll come down 10 inches, and that will be the distance from the shoulder to waist. Remember, we've already taken off 7 inches from the top. And so the shoulder to waist being 17 inches, taking the 7 inches off will give us 10 to the waist. And so this is the top, this is the waist, this becomes our hip line, our ankle line and the hem. On the hip line, we are going to divide the hip measurement by 4. We add 2 inches as ease and then 2 inches as our crotch extension. That is the front crotch extension. And so it would be 12 plus 2 inches. We bring this same measurement to the top. Because there's no crotch extension here, we'd only be doing the 12 inches. Then we draw a line to connect the center front lines. That is these two points. Then we draw this arc to get our crotch line. The shoulder to nipple or shoulder to pass point is 10 inches. And so we assume that we've taken our 7 inches off. So we mark our shoulder to nipple line. And that falls 3 inches below our starting line. From the nipple line, we'll come up by 1 inch. And then we take off 3 inches from the starting line. We then draw an arc to give this as our ample. That is the remaining ample. When it comes to the ankle, we have to transport the same measurements we had here down there. Then we connect it to our crotch extension. Now we'll go ahead and cut this out. Remember this is just an allowance and so we'll flip it inward before we do the cutting. For the back, we'll place the front pattern as we had it onto a wider fabric. We're going to extend the back crotch extension by not less than 4 inches. Then we also extend the hemline, the pass or the ankle line. We would also extend this very line to the back.
Then we will curve this very crotch line from the waist down here till we meet the four inches extension we had. When it comes to the top here, because of the elastic we are going to use to draw the back, we will add two inches allowance and this will just be for the hem of the back neckline. Okay, then we'll go ahead and cut this. But before that, we need to also add four inches to the hemline. It's our time to cut our packet. We'll just be measuring three inches from the waistline downwards, and this is where the packet will start from. Then the whole space is about seven inches. And so we create some notches at this point. And so I want to slant the pocket for this way. And so we pick this and then we place one of the pockets on it and then we pin. And we pick three for the others. So we we'll move to our sewing machine and then stitch the packets in place first. We repeat this for the others. Okay, so we have this strap that we've cut and this is what we are using as the cord for the neckline. This is one inch by, by 50 inches length. You can do any inches as you want with the length. We are stitching them good size together. This is also going to be used for the belt and that has also been cut into two and a half inches by 72 inches. We'll stick them good size together but before then we flip this to the wrong side like this before we put them good sides like this. We'll go ahead and run our stitches. And so with the help of a loop turner, we are going to turn this inside out.
We'll put this aside. Also, turn this to the good side. We are joining the center back pieces together. So this is one and this is the other. So we join them all the way to the crotch. Remember we had added 2 inches hem allowance to the neckline. We are going to fold it inward like this and then we fold it again so that we get a casing for it through which we are going to insert our elastic. Now we move on to the front. We join the two front pieces together at the center front. Just as we did for the back, we are going to knit in the center back. Then we flip our one inch hem allowance as we had added towards the wrong side. Then we come and stitch. This is it. As I went to the table, I deepened the arm depth by about one inch. And so I reduced this by one inch and then this part by about quarter of an inch. Before we stitch this, we would want to finish the armhole for both sides. With the help of a narrow hem foot, we would hem the armhole. If you don't have the narrow hem foot, you may as well want to knit in the edge and then fold this over and do some top stitching. They will repeat same for the other side. We're going to place the front and the back good size together. We take this to our sewing machine and then stitch the two ends, that is the left and right seams. Before we stick the side seams, we would insert our elastic into the back casing we created. And so we want the whole casing to be 9 inches. And so we would mark the 9 inches.
we insert it into the case. We'll first secure the edge of the elastic. Then we pull it till we see where we marked our 9 inches. And so this is it. Then we also secure this part. To prevent the elastic from moving about, we will secure it at the center. Now we'll move ahead and stitch our side seams. Now with this done, we would as well stitch the inseam. So we'll go ahead and then knitting the rough edges. Then we also finish the hemline. 